Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is remove the byline from pages, but not from posts. And so the way that works is to come back over here to post and page output under content, skin content. Go to post page output. Come on. And then what we're going to do actually is I'm going to turn the author, author avatar, date, and categories on. Okay, so we have all that stuff is now going to show up. I'm going to say OK to that and save display options. And come back over to the home. Now I've got all that stuff showing up at the top of my page. And obviously I don't really want that stuff showing up at the top of my page for pages. However, if we come over to the, uh, if we come over to a, a post, I definitely want that stuff showing up on a post. So um, what we're going to do here is change this so that it doesn't show up on pages, but it, we, it stays on the posts. Okay. So the way that works then, now that we've got it turned on, is to come back over to the skin editor and to open up those templates and make the change. Now we're not going to, we're not changing the home template, we're just changing the page template and the front page template. So we go to the page template. That stuff is contained inside the headline area of, so actually go for the columns, content column, WP loop, post page, post box, and then headline area. And then what we're going to do is get rid of the author avatar. Now there's something special about uh, post boxes, and that is they have this thing called a tray where they have all of these and they're that special salmon color. All of these elements that are uh, available inside of this, uh, inside of the post box. And, um, and so rather than dragging them to the toolbox or to the trash, what we're going to do is drag them down here to what's called the tray. So I'm going to shift drag the author avatar down. And you can see I can't drop it anywhere here, right? Because what I really have to do is take it out of its container and put it in the post page in the post box container essentially and then I can drag it down here and see where it says drop orange boxes here to hide them in the tray now it's gone okay I'm gonna do the same thing with byline date and edit link although I could just shift drag this over here as well and drop it there and if I save the template, those little pieces, well, interesting, those little pieces were not actually added to the, uh, added back into the, you know, that's interesting. I expected that what would happen is um, the pieces from this box that were inside the byline would just go back into the tray automatically, and they did not do that, but it doesn't really matter to us. We don't want them, so we don't care. If we save that, we're going to do the same thing to the front page. Come over to our front page, open up our headline area, and shift drag the author avatar out, and then show the tray, and drag it into the tray, and then shift drag byline out, save the template. We can come back over here and look at our um, at our post, and it's still there. We still have that information in our post. We can still go to categories now and look at that stuff. But if we come over to our home page, it's not there anymore. And if we look at our regular pages, it's not there anymore. Okay, this is the power of customizing those templates because you can keep you can have some elements in some templates and remove them from other templates. Now, something that people ask me all the time is, how do I get rid of the title? What I would probably do with this title is use it, actually. And so rather than having it say home, I would probably turn it into Welcome to the Barking Chihuahua Cafe. And if we edit, and so rather than getting rid of the title entirely, I would just make it useful. I'm surprised how often this doesn't occur to people, but... Welcome to the Barking Chi 
Wah, wah, cafe. Um, I'm also going to have to go change my menu, I believe, because the menu now is going to say welcome. And I still want the menu to say home. Yeah. So I'll come back over here and just change that to home. And so now it doesn't say home. Now it says welcome to the Barking Chihuahua Cafe, which I think makes uh, plenty of sense. However, if you don't want that at all, all you have to do is go to that template and remove it. Right? So we'll go to the skin editor, go to our front page template. And then, and actually, I'm just going to get rid of the headline area altogether then. So it's just a shift drag and drop it there. Save the template. And now the headline is gone, right? So that's how you remove the headline from a template if you want to. Now I encourage you not to do that though. I encourage you to put your own just to make the headline useful instead of deleting it. But, um, but that's how you can delete it.